With the end of season six right around the corner, it is that time of the Fortnite cycle to speculate about what changes we can expect with the next season in Fortnite Battle Royale. Wait a second, don't you make Black Ops 4 videos? Hey, how about you shut the f up? The main topic for today's video is potential map changes we can see with season seven as you guys may or may not know by now after each season the new season brings new gameplay mechanics as well as map changes so for instance after season three we saw the introduction of dusty divot after season four we saw the introduction of the desert biome which included paradise palms we also saw the replacement of anarchy acres which became lazy links and then with season six we didn't really have any major map changes but we did experience the fortnite mares halloween event which featured really annoying zombies that let's be honest nobody misses so what's gonna happen with season seven well let's face it unless you live under a rock well it's pretty obvious what's gonna happen with season seven it's winter time now i know in the southern hemisphere it's technically summer for you weirdos but let's face it the southern hemisphere is kind of stupid you guys got kangaroos and really dangerous snakes like you weird australian people you guys wake up and you have like spiders and deadly snakes just in your front yard and that's completely normal besides the point what i'm saying is it is very cold this time of year it is very common to see lots of snow and of course this time of year features one of the more popular holidays of the year with christmas I know last year Epic Games had a Christmas event for Fortnite Battle Royale. They had Christmas themed map changes. I know all the bushes on the map had Christmas lights in them. I know they released Christmas themed skins. I've made videos talking about these skins before and just how popular they are. But essentially with season seven, expect Christmas themed and winter themed map changes too. Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, realistically, we're not going to see huge changes to the map like we did when they completely just wiped out Dusty Depot and turned it into a big hole in the ground, or when they decided to just completely take out the southeastern part of the map create a giant desert and throw a big town right in the middle of it now, i wouldn't expect anything like that now i'm not saying that's not gonna happen because epic games can be pretty unpredictable at times but what i can confirm for an undeniable fact is that we're gonna see some sort of christmas like changes to the map we'll probably see christmas lights and bushes once again and we'll probably see the grenade launcher turned into a snowball machine once again and we can confirm that because this past halloween we saw the pumpkin launcher returning like it did in the first installment of the halloween event in fortnite last year so it's safe to say that epic games isn't afraid to redo changes they made to the game like they made last year however with this time around the community wants a little bit more if we turn to the official fortnite subreddit people have already begun working on and theorizing and even wishing upon changes they want to see with the map in season seven here are a couple of my personal favorites this one created by reddit user Kurt art takes the current version of the official fortnite map and completely just changes the entire meta as you can see all of your favorite spots are still there with lazy links salty springs risky reels pleasant park for instance but what has changed as you can clearly see is all of these different areas are separate islands and one select group of these islands as you can see in the northwestern part of this map features a winter slash snowy type biome and of course in the middle here i don't know what the hell this is supposed to be whether it's a volcano or some nuclear blast but it's a very interesting unnamed addition to the fortnite map now this next post made by the reddit user onion aid underscore shows the map in a first person perspective with a christmas theme to it as you can see with the christmas tree decorated with christmas lights and ornaments and of course the wrapped presents underneath the Christmas tree, the map is covered in snow. And just by looking at this picture, you kind of feel a little chilly, don't you think? Now, this perspective is kind of cool because it not only shows you what a winter Fortnite map would look like, but it may also give you some ideas of what you could expect with a winter Fortnite season. For instance, instead of chests, maybe we get giant gift wrap presents. Instead of ammo boxes, we get a stocking stuffer. And maybe these Christmas trees give us more wood than your regular trees. I think this is a really cool image. I don't know if the user made this in Photoshop, 
dropped it somehow or he just screenshotted it from a trailer from an old Fortnite season. I don't know what's going on here. But regardless, this was a cool thing to look at. And I'm genuinely excited to see this change potentially within Fortnite battle royale and lastly this one here it's not so much a winter change but it's a change i wanted to show you guys because it coincides with the previous theory from previous seasons that could actually become reality sometime in the near future on screen now is a screenshot of the current map as i make this video now this general layout of the map has been pretty consistent throughout the season with major changes like the dusty divot edition paradise palms edition and the lazy links edition now what really hasn't changed and what's pretty uninteresting about this map is the southwestern quadrant between Greasy Grove and Flush Factory. There's really nothing there that is worth any value. Yeah, you have two POIs that are full of loot possibilities, but these two spots on the map are awfully boring. I rarely go Flush Factory or Greasy Grove unless A, the flight path is just terrible and I just don't have any other choices, or B, I have to go here because of a battle pass challenge. However, if we were to make a change to this part of the map and added a new part to this part of the map, it would definitely bring more traffic to this area and therefore make part of this map not only more interesting, but also more relevant. And with that said, that is all the possible map changes we can expect with Season 7 in Fortnite Battle Royale. Those are my personal favorites. If you guys have a favorite one that I showcased in this video, or if you have a different idea of your own, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, if you guys enjoyed this video, for whatever reason make sure to drop a like if this is your first time on my youtube channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications to be the very first people to be notified of all of my uploads but with that said that is all the time i have for today thank you guys so much for watching today's video all i have to say now is stay safe and remember every day above ground is a good day